Details as the Biden administration boosts its efforts to get more monkeypox vaccines to cities that need them. California has seen more than 2,300 cases to this point. Natalie Brand live in Washington, D.C. with the latest on the effort. Natalie. Good afternoon, and the Biden administration is trying to quickly get more doses of monkeypox vaccine into the communities that need it most. We also learned today that they are going to try a new pilot program focused on large gatherings and large events around the LGBTQ community to try to get vaccine to those at highest risk. The White House announced that more monkeypox vaccine is on the way. 1.8 million more doses available for ordering starting Monday. We are also now receiving administration data from jurisdictions, which helps us ensure we are distributing vaccines equitably across the country while also making sure they get to those who need the most. Part of the strategy will include a pilot program to distribute vaccine at large events geared towards the communities at highest risk. Up to 50,000 doses from the national stockpile to be made available for pride and other events that will have high attendance of gay and bisexual men. Last week, the FDA authorized a plan to stretch out the nation's limited supply of monkeypox vaccine by administering shots one-fifth the dose. With the announcement, it increased our existing supply significantly without compromising safety or effectiveness. Today's briefing comes one day after the CDC admitted it made mistakes in how it handled the coronavirus outbreak. I think it's really important to understand the great work of this agency, but also to admit to areas where we needed to improve. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky announced a shakeup at the agency, including internal staffing moves and efforts to speed up data releases. Walensky says lessons learned from the COVID outbreak can help in the battle against monkeypox. We learned some hard lessons over the last three years, and as part of that, it's my responsibility, it's the agency's responsibility to learn from those lessons and do better. CDC officials hope to finalize reorganization plans and have them approved by early next year. Now, back to the announcement of the additional 1.8 million doses. That does represent splitting each vial into five doses and then using that new method to inject under the skin or intradermally, Anne. All right, now San Francisco, we, we've seen some of the highest numbers of monkeypox cases in California and in the country, major hotspot. So what is in this plan specifically to try to get treatment out to places where the outbreaks are so severe, like here? Right. Well, we learned today that in addition to trying to ramp up the vaccine supply, the administration will also, starting next week, pre-position 50,000 courses of the T-pox treatment. That's a drug that's been used to fight smallpox, but can also be used for monkeypox. So the administration will start placing that treatment in jurisdictions where the outbreak is most severe. And I should also mention that for the vaccine, it's also the priority is on those communities uh, with the, the highest number of cases uh, and also those communities that have used the vast majority of their vaccine supply already, Anne. That's us. We need it. All right, Natalie, thanks for that. We're going to have more on the continued response to monkeypox as it develops. Stay with us on KPIX.com and streaming 24-7 on CBS News Bay Area.